Number 10. 1955 Corvette V8. The 1955 Corvette was the first Corvette to receive a V8 engine. This engine changed Corvette's prospects, as the first two years on the market hadn't brought much success for the car. To keep the car afloat and not quickly discontinued by Chevrolet, the Corvette team decided to add a 4.3-liter, small-block V8 engine. This new engine was a resounding success as one of the best Corvette engines. The 1955 Corvette had 195 horsepower and an impressive 0 to 60 miles per hour time of 8.5 seconds. The car also came with a 3-speed manual transmission, which gave the driver more control behind the wheel. Number 9. 1957 Corvette Fuel Injected. In 1957, Corvette continued to improve the Corvette and its V8 engine. They added a ramjet fuel injection system to the engine as an option, which was entirely unfamiliar to the domestic market at the time. This revolutionary new feature brought the Corvette up to 283 horsepower. If you want a first-generation Corvette with incredible performance, a 1957 fuel-injected model is the car for you. Keep in mind, however, that this Corvette is incredibly rare, as fuel injection didn't have the name recognition at the time to generate a lot of sales. Only 1,040 of these 1957 fuel-injected Corvettes were made, and just 716 of them could generate 283 horsepower. Number 8. 1963 Corvette Grand Sport. In response to the racing success of the Ford Cobra, Chevrolet initiated a program lead by the Belgian-born American engineer nicknamed the father of the Corvette, to produce a lightweight version of the second-generation Corvette. The Grand Sport was conceived as a race car with the intention of producing 125 units to go on sale for the 1963 model year. The engineers at Corvette delivered, producing a more lightweight version of the standard 1963 Corvette model and giving it an engine that produced around 550 horsepower. In the end, only five of the Corvette Grand Sports were ever built. This model is one of the rarest Corvettes ever, making it especially valuable. Number 7. 1967 Corvette Stingray L88. Another rare Corvette was the 1967 Corvette L88. This Corvette was designed by the Grand Sport designer, Sora Arkas Duntov, with his vision for the car being to create another Corvette that could hit the racetrack, despite GM's ban on racing. Anyone standing around an L88 Corvette would know as soon as it started, as the giant carburetor on the engine would pull the surrounding air into the engine. Even though the big block V8 engine was officially rated at 430 horsepower, others tested it and found it made at least 550 horsepower. The limited production of the L88 from the 60s made it one of the most sought-after Corvettes today, with sales prices of more than six figures. Number 6. 1969 Corvette ZL1. One of the rarest production Corvettes ever built was the 1969 ZL1. Only three were made and sold through Chevrolet dealerships. The ZL1 came with an entirely aluminum 7.0-liter big block engine. This engine came with an official rating of 430 horsepower, but when tested, the car could actually generate around 525 horsepower. Even more impressive, the car could go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 3.9 seconds and make a quarter mile in only 12.1 seconds. As the ZL1 was designed for racing, the car's top speed reached 193 miles per hour. Number 5. 1970 Corvette Stingray LT1. The original Corvette LT1 was one of the most ambitious small block Corvettes ever built with emissions restrictions not yet a problem in 1970 when it was introduced. That made the 1970 LT one a highly desirable car then and now. The oil crisis and greater regulations on vehicles made it very difficult to produce any more incredibly powerful Corvettes for quite some time. This is why the next best Corvette didn't arrive until 18 years after the 1970 LT one was produced. Number 4. 
1988 Corvette Callaway Sledgehammer. While not directly produced by Corvette, the 1988 Corvette Callaway Sledgehammer is still an excellent vet. Callaway Cars, a company dedicated to altering engines, decided to work their magic and build a car based on the fourth-generation Corvette. The team at Callaway also added a NASCAR spec engine to the Corvette. With this impressive engine powering it, the sledgehammer put out 772 pound-feet of torque and an incredible 898 horsepower. The car could go from 0 to 60 in 3.9 seconds and make the quarter mile in only 10.6 seconds. Callaway's adjustments to the Corvette were a resounding success. The sledgehammer was so powerful and fast that it broke the top speed record for a road legal car at the time by reaching a top speed of 254.7 miles per hour. Number 3. 2002 Corvette Z06. Widely regarded as one of the best C5 Corvettes, the Corvette Z06 was an impressive addition to the fifth generation and gave drivers a thrilling experience behind the wheel. While the car was first released in 2000, the Z06 really hit its stride in 2002. Corvette upgraded its horsepower to 405, helping the car hit a quarter mile in 12.4 seconds and go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.9 seconds. With impressive stats like these, drivers looking for a sports car that'll be incredibly fun to drive often turn to the Z06. Number 2. 2009 Corvette ZR1. The first ZR1 Corvette was created with a specific goal, shock and awe, and the Corvette design team responded by producing the most powerful Corvette ever made at the factory. The C6 generation ZR1 was unveiled with a supercharged, 6.2-liter LS9 V8 that generated 638 horsepower, 133 horsepower more than the Z06. It was also the quickest Corvette, reaching 60 miles per hour in only 3.4 seconds and a top speed of 205 miles per hour, another record for a Corvette. The ZR1 made extensive use of carbon fiber. The lightweight material was used to construct the engine hood, roof, front splitter, fenders, and rocker moldings. It also boasted the largest wheels ever used on a production Corvette and carbon ceramic brakes. Number 1. 2020 Corvette C8. The 2020 Corvette kicked off the C8 generation and was the first ever mid-engine Corvette. Even though the mid-engine was controversial, it still delivered amazing performance to drivers in a sleek, new package. In its base trim, the 2020 Corvette C8 could go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 2.8 seconds due to the revolutionary rear-mounted drivetrain. The standard model also came with 465 pound-feet of torque and 490 horsepower, which could be increased with performance packages. This channel the top 10. Thank you for attention. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel.